Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everybody My name is Muhammad Zulfikar Now In this video I would like to tell you About the story With the title Tangkuban Perahu And this story Once upon time In West Java Indonesia lived a West king Who had a beautiful daughter Her name was Dayang Sumbi She liked weaving very much Once she was weaving a cloth When one of her tool fell to the ground She was very tired At the time so she was too lazy to take it Then she just saw the old load Anybody there? Bring me my tool I will give you special person If you are female I will consider you as my sister If you are male I will marry you Suddenly a male dog Its name was Tumang Came He broke her the failing tool Dayang Sumbi was very surprised She regretted her words but she could not deny it So she had to marry Tumang and leave her father Then they live in a small village several months later they had a son his name was Sam Kuryang he was a handsome and healthy boy and smart Sam Kuryang liked hunting very much He often went hunting to the wood using his arrow. When he went hunting, Tumang always with him. In the past, there were many deer in Java, so Sankuriang often hunted for deer. One day, Dayang Sumbi went to, to have deer. Her so she asked Sangkuryang to hunt for a deer. Then, Sangkuryang went to the wood with his arrow and his faithful dog Tumang. But after several days, in the woods, Sang Kuyang could not find any deer. They were all disturbed. Sang Kuyang was exhausted and desperate. He did not want to disappoint her mother, so he killed Tumang. He did. Not know that Tumang was his father. At home, he gave Tumang her to her mother. And but Dang Sambi knew that it was Tumang. Her. She was so angry 
that she could not control her omission. She hit Sangkuriang at his head. Sangkuriang was wounded. There was a scar in his head. She also replied her son. Sangkuriang left the her mother in sadness. Many years passed and Sangkuriang became a strong young man. He wandered everywhere. One day, he arrived at his own village, but he did not release it. There, it met Deng Sumbi. At the time, Deng Sumbi was given an eternal beauty by good so she stayed young forever but of them did not know it after she they fell in love and then they decided to marry but then Deng Chumbi recalled a scar on his Sangkuriang head she knew that Sangkuriang was his son it was impossible for them to marry she told him, but he did not believe her. He wished that the marry soon. So Deng Sumbi gave a very difficult condition. She went to Chang Kuyang to build a lake and bought in the neck. She said she needed that for honeymoon. Chang Kuyang agreed. With the help of Gin and Spirit Chang Kuyang, tried to build them. By midnight, he had finished the, the lake by building a dam in city around river. Then he started building the brood. It was almost then when his nail finished it. The million days soon be kept waiting on them. She was very worried, and she knew this. So she made lake in the east. Then the spirit thought that is really done. It is best time for them to leave. The last Sangkuriam alone, with their help, he could not finish the boat. Sangkuriam was very angry. He kicked, he kicked the boat. Then the boat turned out to be more Tangkuban Prahu. It's mean about Epsidon. From understand his look about Epsidon. He did my story with the little Tangkuban Prahu. Thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Goodbye.